Okay, so today, Eardrop Team of the Week number 9, and in it are some pretty good cards. We have an inform Ronaldo, a second inform Howland, and also an inform Yannick Carrasco, who we're going to be doing a player review on today. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now, also in the current Team of the Week, there are some other notable items. There's an inform Neuer, an inform Digne, Leno, Fernando, there's a bunch. If you want to see me review any of those other cards let me know which ones in the comments below and also let me know that you want to see more inform reviews by leaving a like rating on this video but for now we're going to focus on the 84 rated Yannick Carrasco who I picked up for around 200k so uh, I'm a bit worried about losing a bunch of coins on this one because he's 84 rated and I get the feeling he's going to be packed a lot in the next hour or two so uh, yeah a bit worried about the coin loss on this one anyway let's have a look at this item but before we do that let's discuss chem styles now for this guy I am thinking we go with something like finisher because his balance isn't looking the best and that will give a little bit of a boost in that area another option certainly could be the engine but uh, with finisher we get a nice little boost in this department and also a boost in the shooting department too and you you guys know me I like my goal scoring wingers and to be honest with the shooting boost on this card his shooting stats become pretty insane so uh, yeah I think we're going to go with finisher in the comments below let me know what chem style you would use on this item so looking at this guy's card four star four star very good to see on a winger high low work rates also very very good in terms of traits there's just flair and in terms of in-game stats there are some very nice dark green attributes 92 ag agility instantly stands out and uh, so does the 85 finishing and 89 shot power both of which in theory will be 99 rated in-game with that finisher chem style the pace column is obviously already pretty much loaded and the passing department isn't too bad either he doesn't have elite stats in any of these areas but um passing as a whole is just really really solid to be honest 79 shot passing is good enough and 79 crossing hopefully will be good enough physically he's not looking too great though average stamina and aggression and also 78 stamina which isn't terrible but for a pacey winger we could end up draining that stamina rather quickly hopefully we won't though so uh yeah without further ado let's just get in some games and let's test out the belgian winger game number one caesar's match up against this it's just a premier league and um, Bundesliga hybrid with a random Valverde just thrown in. I'm going to presume he got a red card with whoever was there previously and that's why he's playing like he is. Um, Pogba in that position would make perfect sense. But uh, other than that, pretty good team with a very lethal pacey attack. Out to Carrasco who's done well to win the header there. And he gets the ball on down the wing to Team Averna who's going to try and keep possession here. Oh, see that's unfortunate because we was about to send Cas uh, Carrasco through. Havertz spreads it out wide. Here's a chance now for Carrasco to Get involved in the play. First chance to really spread those legs and get on the inside. Keeps the ball. Can we get it to Werner? Yes, we can. And Werner probably should be taking that on his right foot. That was a good chance created, which ultimately was bottled. Oh, Carrasco just won the ball there. Carrasco with a chance. Oh, penalty. I was about to say, how has he missed that? But he's been fouled in the act of shooting. Now we have a chance to score from the spot and we'll take it as well we go straight down the middle as we do and it's all square there's a chance team of Werner knocks the ball out wide to Carrasco who's gonna try and get on the inside and that's another penalty there's been three penalties in this game he scored it he scored one I've scored one and now we've got another chance to take one sure he isn't gonna think I'm gonna go there again so I'm gonna go to the right there we go he knew I was gonna go down the middle I have to change it up there team of Werner gets the ball out wide to Carrasco, who's now got space to run into. Oh, crosses it in early, and it's a good cross as well. Havertz just didn't get the strongest of connections on it. Havertz gets it out to the Belgian, who's going to come inside now. Going to try and open up some space. Oh, oh, he's nabbed it from Hernandez, and that's free just before the break. Finally, we score an open play goal. And after that goal, my opponent decides he's had enough. So, um, Carrasco did score a hatchcon debut, which sounds amazing, but uh, two of the goals were... You know, a bit soft penalties, but uh, it is what it is. Job done. Let's move on. Next up for us is this. It's actually a very strong team with a very good back line. Interesting to see his left back choice there. Most people would have Mendy. I guess he's probably saving for him. But uh, yeah, really pacey attack and a really pacey back line too. Out to Carrasco, who finds Havertz, who holds it up nicely before releasing the Belgian. Down this edge now. Ramos thought about coming across and then thought better of it. Coming inside now. Chance with the finesse. And there is a goal. There is a very nice counter-attack goal from Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco again taking on the fullback. Going to come inside of the centre-back and he's almost got past him. But there's a shot, unfortunately, was dragged against his feet. 
Kreska comes on the inside once more, and once again, he just seems to be one of them players who, he will lose possession, but he'll stay on his feet and he'll have the chance to win it back, and on some occasions that's going to be very beneficial. Kreska, you're faster than Mukiele. You're faster than him. You're not as strong, but you're faster than him, and you've shown that right there. Come on the inside, ball across the box, oh, Cotua makes a good stop. Nice, oh, good block there from Carrasco. Key block that's allowed us to have this attack in all reality, but uh, we've ultimately bottled it there. Okay, so at the break, we are down three goals to two. We were down 3-1 at one point, but then I was like, no, this isn't happening. We need to defend better, and ultimately, I just wasn't defending well in uh, that 4-3-3 formation. So I switched to the 4-1-2-1-2. Two, two. We've brought Mbappe on up front, and hopefully Carrasco can do a job in that left mid role. Havertz puts the ball through. Here's a chance for Carrasco now in behind. What's he going to do? He's going to find Mane on the inside, and that's a great block by Kunde. But um, that's really a block that shouldn't be happening, and hopefully... That'll be fixed in the next patch. Probably won't be, because you know how EA out of the patches. Fix one thing, break another. Good play by Mbappe there. He's put Carrasco through, because he's now got a chance. Tight angle, we go for it. Oh, he's moved his keeper. Sly. Nice from Mbappe. Linking up well with Carrasco here. Need some support on the inside, really. Anyone, please, come on, come help me. Oh, Witzel. That was a great ball from Carrasco. Unfortunately, we couldn't convert. Mbappe finds Carrasco, who's got a bit of space here. He's done well to beat his man, gets round. Oh, keeper once more with the stop. Well, the full-time whistle blows, and ultimately, we do end up losing the game. So, uh, yeah, a bit annoying. But um, I actually thought Carrasco was decent in that game. Not just getting on the score sheet, but also um, created some good chances for the players around him. So, uh, yeah, come away from the game feeling a bit annoyed to have lost. But um, ultimately, the player we're focusing on, Carrasco, had a decent outing. Game number three, and we are up against a Ronaldo. Woo, very good team. Not the quickest backline though, so hopefully we can take full advantage of that. Chance now to break. Carrasco in behind. Oh, he's just got past Thiago Silva, but now Nelson Tomato's coming across. Here is an opportunity. Can we get the ball across the box? Yes, we can. And Timo Werner does finish the job. Great break from the Belgian and a nice finish from the German. Nice from Carrasco, winning that. Ticks on the centre-back. Oh, just went the wrong way. Oh, the ball stayed in. That's good for us. Can we get on the inside here? Carrasco does exactly that, but the shot is closed down. We couldn't get the ball back on the inside. Into Carrasco, who's found some space for himself. Can he get the finesse away? Yes, he can. That's a great save from Allison there. Well, at the break, as you can see, it is 2-2. And, um, yeah, just a really even match, to be honest. One that hopefully we will come out on top of in the second half. I'm going to switch to the 4-2-3-1, though, to be a bit more solid defensively. But hopefully we can uh, get the job done in this second 45. Nice win of the ball there by Yannick Carrasco. Mbappe took a weird touch there. And that could have collapsed all momentum, but Carrasco's got us still going. Here's a chance for Kai Havertz to tie it up, and he does with a great finish. Carrasco links up here with Mbappe. Here's an opportunity. Can we find the inside pass? Oh, I've gone too far. I should have actually crossed that a little bit earlier. So now that game's come to an end, once again we evaluate Carrasco's performance, and to be honest, pretty positive. Didn't get a goal in this one, but helped create some really good chances. Right then, now the games are done, it's time to review the performance of Inform Yannick Carrasco, and straight up, I think this card is actually pretty good. Um, I enjoyed using it, and it's a very fun winger as well, and it's one of them that I feel most people will enjoy. It's a goal-scoring winger, that is for sure. If you want more of a creative winger, there probably are better options, but in terms of goal-scoring winger options, um, I think Carrasco is a very, very good choice. And you guys know me, I love my wide men who can score goals, and this guy certainly can. Um, his pacing game is obviously pretty nice, and uh, also makes some good runs in behind he's got those high low wear crits which keep him pushing forward and uh, he does make some decent runs um, in behind as well but um i don't think his run making is as good as some other high rated wingers when it comes to finishing a shot power this guy is very very good he can certainly put the ball in the back of the net as long as you don't come up against someone who's constantly moving the keeper like i did in the last game and um, you're going to score plenty of goals with this guy and for me he just did score plenty of goals and that was obviously really beneficial he's one of the players you can get the ball on the wing cut inside and then whip the ball in to the back of the net which is awesome his passing was all right nothing too special in that area did actually set up quite a few goals for me which was nice but ultimately i don't think his passing is anything too special saying that i do think he could be um pretty good as a sub on cam if he needs some impact late into the game especially someone with this guy's pace and dribbling so uh yeah an option right there because one thing i like to do in foot champs and um, when the game's getting late on i do like to sub on a winger at cam just to inject some pace into that midfield and i think this carrasco would be actually perfect 
for that kind of job. When it comes to dribbling, this card is very, very good. I really like the agility and ball control. And uh, yeah, he's just a fun player to have in possession of the football. He's one of the players who are really, really good at the 10. So we're happy with that. But his balance isn't the best, and in-game, you will notice that when he gets knocked when trying to take off a pass or a shot, the resulting pass or shot is going to be affected by that, which is unfortunate. And also, his composure isn't as high as other high-rated players as well. So when under pressure, the guy can become a bit unstuck, so you've got to avoid those would-be defenders. Finally, physically, how is he? Pretty average, to be honest. Um, stamina held up all right for me, and uh, strength and aggression is okay for a winger, but it's definitely nothing too spectacular. All in all, though, I do think this is a pretty good winger item and should you get it in your red picks I do believe you will find some good use for it either as a starter or as a super sub. Would I use this guy over someone like Non-Inform Hazard? Um, I actually do prefer this card over Non-Inform Hazard but would I use it over Player of the Month Ansu Fati? Uh, no, I would prefer um, Player of the Month Ansu Fati to be honest so a bit of a comparison for you guys right there. Do I think it's worth 200k? Definitely not. Um, he's good for an 84 overall but he's not worth 200k and to be honest that price is going to come down a lot we're going to get loads of promo packs this week and this card i think is going to end up being quite cheap so if you want to pick it up i'd wait till the weekend anyway guys those are my thoughts on the inform yannick carrasco hope you enjoyed the video if you have drop a like on it comment below your thoughts subscribe if you're new thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one